All right, welcome everybody to another episode of Sutter Vlogs. With this vlog, I'm introducing a new segment that I'm calling Supercar Big Bits. You may have seen my Supercar Tidbit segment in a previous vlog. In that segment, I showcased a handful of cars during a car show and I spoke with the owners to get some interesting tidbits about their cars. Supercar Big Bits is going to be something very similar, but I plan to focus the entire vlog on one car and its owner. My first Supercar Big Bits is going to be about my own 2016 Corvette Z06. I'll give you a little history on what led me to consider the C7 Z06 in general and how I was attracted to this particular car. I will also share some of the questions and concerns I needed to consider in order to find just the right Corvette for me and I'll highlight some of the cool, fun features of the C7 Z06 that lend to its drivability. The 2016 Corvette Z06 is a spectacular automobile. I've owned five other Corvettes in the past and now, after driving this one nearly a thousand miles, I can safely say that it is the very best one yet. I've owned over 50 cars in my life and can honestly say that this is my favorite of the whole lot. Now that's a big statement, so I guess I should explain why I feel this way. I should start with why I chose the C7 Corvette Z06. Prior to owning this car, I had a 2009 Corvette ZR1 and a 2009 Audi R8. Each of those two cars had something very special about them. The ZR1 was a wonderful, how do I explain it, Jekyll and Hyde supercar. It was the most friendly, easy driving sports car I've ever owned. But, in an instant, it turned into an aggressive monster machine that provided an exhilaration like no other car. The Audi R8 was just pure grit. It was an all-wheel drive with a V8 that had an incredible muscle car growl. Actually, until that car, I didn't even realize how much the sound of a car added to the driving experience. When the C7 Z06 came on the scene, it showed promise to be a car that combined my favorite aspects of the ZR1 and the R8 together. Well, I haven't been disappointed yet. I found a very special specimen. A used Z06 that was specked out exactly as if I had ordered it new. It was Laguna Blue, a color that was discontinued in the 2016 model season. It had the Z07 package, the 3LZ package, black wheels, competition seats, front parking cameras, and an M7 transmission. All things that I was hoping for in the car that I would end up with. My car, in particular, had just over 1,600 miles on it when I bought it. The dealer transferred ownership to me through the MSO, so I am technically the first owner of this car. GM used this particular car as a test vehicle on the Michigan International Speedway. So, once I heard that, it did concern me a little bit, but I got full warranty on the car, and after a thousand miles of unfaltering drive time, I feel completely comfortable with the vehicle and extremely appreciative of the deal that I got simply because of the history on the car. So with that, you can see what attracted me to this particular Z06. But that wasn't until after I had vetted some concerns about the C7 Z06 in general, particularly one with a Z07 package. I was concerned about three primary things going into buying this car, and that was ride comfort, uh, the carbon ceramic brakes, and Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires. I was concerned about the comfort of the ride in a Z06 with the Z07 package. I was reading all over the internet about how much stiffer the suspension was on a Z07 Corvette, over the standard Z06 and Stingray. I found articles and forum postings that talked about how intolerable many people found the ride. After all, the Z07 package was not meant for touring, it was meant to help with performance on the track. And I must admit that I really have no intentions of tracking my car. I wanted my Corvette to be a fair weather daily driver, so ride comfort is important to me. The more I investigated, the more it appeared as though a C7 Stingray or even a non-Z07 Z06 would be the best choice to fit my needs. However, I just couldn't get past the fact that I wanted the full ground effects, spoiler package, and the carbon ceramic brakes that are offered with the Z07 package. So honestly, 
it was more important to me to have the appearance package than the ride. In regard to the carbon ceramic brakes, I had those on my ZR1 and I absolutely loved them from an aesthetic standpoint and for the fact that they don't generate brake dust like the steel setup. Brake dust is a big deal to me and almost the sole reason why I kept pursuing the Z07 package even though all indicators said that I should just settle for a Corvette without it. My biggest concern though came when I encountered chatter online about how squeaky the brakes were on the C7 Corvettes. Not just those with carbon ceramics, but all the brakes. It sounded as though it was rather hit and miss as to whether the brakes on my new car would squeak or not. There were lots of complaints across the board. A lot of owners attributed the squeak to the brakes not being burnished properly during the break-in period for the car. Others said that the pads had to be changed to a different brand, while others just said, it is what it is and to be proud of it. All supercars tend to have squeaky brakes at low speeds. Well, I had squeaky brakes on the R8 at low speeds and I did not like it. It's annoying and kind of embarrassing at times, so it was a big deal for me not to have squeaky brakes. When I discovered that the Z06 I bought had been used as a GM test car, I figured the brakes had to have been burnished properly, so I had high hopes that the brakes would not make noise. It's been a thousand miles and not a single squeak. Also, a big deterrent for me regarding the Z07 package was the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires that came standard with that package. These tires, for my purposes, were just simply going to be a hindrance. They are designed for the track, and I was concerned about the daily driving and the wearability of these super soft, expensive tires. I was also concerned about the delicate nature of these Cup 2 tires. My understanding is that driving the car under 40 degrees is not recommended because the tires could crack. I've heard horror stories and 40 degrees is not an uncommon temperature here in Nebraska in early spring or late fall. I realized that if I purchased a car with a Z07 package, I was going to have to replace the Cup 2 tires right away, which was going to be an additional cost for me on the Corvette. Well, another bonus of the car that I ended up buying is that, since it was a GM test car on the Michigan International Speedway, GM actually replaced the Cup 2 tires with a set of Michelin Pilot Super Sports before selling the car. That was a major plus for me. So, each one of the concerns I had about the Z06, Z07 were nullified. I think more by my desire to have what I really wanted than the justifications I came up with, but the justifications were nice check marks to help me make the decision on which car I purchased. I wanted to take the rest of the time in this vlog to share my impressions of the 2016 Z06 after two months of ownership and nearly a thousand miles of driving.